solving rational expressions. Oh, sorry, solving rational equations. We are done in solving operations on rational expressions and of course simplifying rational expressions. We're going to use the process in our previous topics in this solving rational equations. In this time we have equations, so we're dealing with the equal sign. And we're going to find the values for our unknown variable. So in this video, we're about to solve number 1, 2, and 3. For number 1, 3x over 4 plus x over 6 is equal to 22. For number 2 and for number 3. I will give you the two methods in solving rational equations. So stay tuned. And of course, for those individuals who have, haven't subscribed in our channel, please subscribe in this channel. And for our teachers, please do not use this video as your instructional materials in your online class. Just give the link to our students so they can visit this channel. Thank you so much. Now let's solve number one. Three X all over four plus x over 6 is equal to 22. Okay, let's start our first method. Our first method is, since this is a fraction or rational, get the common denominator, the LCD, least common denominator. For number 6 and 4, their LCD is 12. So 4, 8, 12, then 6, 12. That's their least multiple. And after getting our LCD, multiply it to our equation. Multiply it in the left side of the equation and, of course, in the right side of the equation. Okay? 12 divided by 4. 4, 8, 12, that is 3, times the numerator. 3 times 3, that is 9. Okay. Copy the plus sign, 12 divided by 6. 6, 12, that is 2. 2 times x, 2x, is equal to 22 times 12. So what is 22 times 12? 4, 4, 2, 2. So that is 264. So we have 264. Then, combine like terms. So we have 11x is equal to 264. Y11, 9 plus 2, that is 11. Combining like terms, just copy x. To find x, divide by 11. So x is equal to, so 264 divided by 11, 26 divided by 11, that is 2. 2 times 11, 22. Subtract. 26 minus 22, 4, bring down 4, 44 divided by 11, that is 4. So, this is 20. So, our x is 24. Our second way is, copy the given, 3x over 4 plus x minus over 6 is equal to 22. Make the left side of the equation a single expression. So get the LCD. So 4 and 6, that is 12. 12 divided by 4, that is 3. Times 3x, that is 9x. Next, 
Copy the plus sign. Log divided by 6. That is 2. Times x. 2x. Is equal to 22. Now simplify like terms. That will become 11x over 12 is equal to 22. And now cross multiply. So we know that 22 has a denominator of 1. So 11x times 1. 11x is equal to 12 times 22. 12 times 22 is 254. And divide by 11. X is equal to 24. This is your answer. Okay. So. X is equal to 24. They are the same. So. Whatever method we are going to use, you will come up with the same answer. And of course, you can check your answers by substituting, by substituting the value of x. So, 3 times our x is 24, we substitute, over 4 plus 24 over 6 is equal to 24. We can use cancellation method. So 24 divided by 4. 4, 8, 4, 15, 20, 24. So this will become 6. So 3 times 6, this is 18. Plus 24 divided by 6. 6, 12, 18, 24. 4 is equal to 24. So 18 plus 4. That is 22 is equal to 22. In that case, 22 is equal to 22. Our value of x is correct. Now, I want you to try number 2. You can pause the video if you want. Then after answering, resume watching to check your work. Okay. This time, let's check number two. Our problem is x over 2 minus 3 is equal to 2 over 3. What method are you going to use? This is the easiest one. Find the LCD, then multiply to our equation. 3 and 2. LCD is 2, 4, 6, 3, 6. So, 6. 6 divided by 2. That is 3. Times x. So we have 3. Minus 6. Times 3, 6, 12, 18, 18, is equal to 6 divided by 3, 3, 6, so that is 2, times 2, which is 4. Now, combine like terms, so 3x is equal to 4, transpose negative 18 on the right side, that will become positive 18. So 3x is equal to 4 plus 18, that is 20, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22. So we're going to divide by 3, sorry, 3, so x is equal to 22 over 3. Subtraction. Let's check if our answer is correct. Substitute 22 over 3 all over 2 minus 3 is equal to 2 over 3. Copy our numerator. 22 over 3 times the reciprocal 1 half minus 3. Use cancellation method. 
So if I do it, two, that will become 11. And this is one. So we have 11 over 3 minus 3. Is equal to 2 over 3? Is equal to 2 over 3. So we have, find the LCD. The LCD is 3. 3 divided by 3, that is 1, times 11, so 11. Copy minus sign. 3 divided by 1, we know that the denominator of both number is 1. So 3 divided by 1, that is 3, times 3, give us 9. Is equal to, just copy the right side of the right part of the equation, which is 2 thirds. 11 minus 9, that is 2 over 3. 2 over 3. Which is the same. 2 over 3 is equal to 2 over 3. That means our value for x, 22 over 3, is correct. Now, would you like to try number 3? Okay. Let us solve number 3. Okay, number 3. Let us copy the given x squared plus 3x all over 5x plus 25 minus 2 over x plus 5 is equal to 1 fifth. What method are you going to choose? It's your choice. So let us find the LCD. Let us multiply the LCD to our equation. Our LCD is This one, 5x plus 25. Let us factor out. That is 5 times x plus 5. Okay. And of course, since this is a rational expression, a rational equation, our domain is x such that x is not equal to 5. Because a negative 5. Because if x is negative 5, the equation will become extraneous or undefined. Now, 5, uh, 5x plus 25 divided by 5x plus 25, that is 1. So multiply to our numerator, the remaining is x squared plus 3x. Minus... 5 times x plus 5 divided by x plus 5. So x plus 5 will be cancelled out. So the remaining is negative 2 times 5, negative 10. Is equal to 5 times x plus 5 divided by 5. That is x plus 5 times 1. So x plus 5. Combine like terms. So transpose on the right side. x squared plus 3x minus 10, just copy, then transpose on the right side, the positive x will become negative x, the positive 5 will become negative 5 is equal to 0. Combine like terms, so we have x squared, positive 3x minus x, that is positive 3x, negative 10, this is 10, Minus 5, negative 15 is equal to 0. Now, factors of negative 15, the sum must be positive 2. So that is positive 5 and negative 3. 5 times negative 3, that is negative 15. 5 minus 3, that is positive 2. So solve for x x plus 5, just equate to 0. Equate to 0. x minus 3, equate to 0. Okay. 
then transpose x is equal to negative 5 and x is equal to partial solution. Take note that negative 5 is excluded. So this will become excluded. Why? Because that is not part of our domain. Review our domain of rational expressions if you want to answer why. Then, of course, our x is positive. So the only solution in number three is positive three. Negative five is excluded. That is the, our restricted one. Once again, thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. And this is the Solving Rationality.